Stage one. Yeah. And you know, at first I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do vinyl. And then I start thinking about it, I'm like, fuck. Turntables are heavy. <laughs> the cases they go in are heavy. <laughs> That's an age talking to you. The man. records are heavy. Dude, and I brought my crate for him to Every do the crate share. Heavy. I'm like, listen, anybody, all these motherfuckers say vinyls, this, that, man, I'm gonna punch them in their face. Just me carrying this to my car? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it sat downstairs for like two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> live, goddammit. Uh, Sweet. Welcome. <laughs> Another episode of The Other Side of Vegas. Roy Evans. Bruno Brown. And this dude in the middle of us, Edgar Reyes. Man. How's everyone Miss, doing? Mr. Soul Kitchen himself. We have like 130 years of experience between us. Yeah, something like that, huh? <laughs> it's a lot of years. <laughs> that put a bad damper on the show. <laughs> you, you know what, man? That just kind of, wow. Got I, real, I, I really needed to, just to hear that. Just want to keep it real, baby. Yeah, we got a lot of years. <laughs> a lot of years, man. What have you been up to, Edgar? Uh, well, you know, just a lot of work. Um, you know, a lot of work just in my personal life and then a lot of work with promotions and, you know, trying to put parties on and uh, events yeah. and stuff like that, you know. It's a, it's a non-stop uh, event, basically, for me. Yeah. You know, I mean, I've been going at this for uh, all together 20 years, but Soul Kitchen alone is, uh, we're coming upon 14 years in May. Uh, yeah, we share an anniversary month, Soul Soul, but then... Uh and uh, you guys, we're doing another, we're doing another event that that month too. Nice. Yeah, it's awesome. So yeah. It's a labor of love, right? It is. It is. You know, I mean, if you don't like it, you know, then you yeah, know, I, that, I, you I, love I, it. I, I, yeah, that's the thing. You know, you always got to look at it that way. It's like, you know, you either love it or you don't. You know, yeah. I mean, it's it's a love hate relationship, but at the same time, <laughs> it's it's a lot of love, you know, and a lot of hate <clears throat> equally because I mean, it's just it's nonstop. Yeah. You know, it's something that never goes away. Yeah. I mean. And that's how I've looked at it ever since I've been doing it. So it's like breathing, like. And plus, not to be too foo foo about it, but you really can't have one without the other. No, no, not at all, not at all. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, there's, you know, there's times where I'm just like, what am I doing? You know. But then I look <laughs> at it again, and I'm like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I love it. That's why I keep doing it. You know. Yeah. You you have that night where the stars align, and you get that feeling of like, this is why I chased the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly Definitely. why I chased the dragon. But like just uh, fourteen years alone with um, with Soul Kitchen, how did that start, and, and where? Um, you know, we started Soul Kitchen at the Heights, uh, which is over off of Decatur and uh, Alta here in Las Vegas. Um, and the reason we started it is there was another party that was going on, and they had kind of went away. So we were trying to basically fill that void, mm -hmm. you know, because so many people knew about that party. And kind of when that party would, would not do nothing, it was just like, what do we do? You know, people were kind of lost. Yeah. So we started doing that just to kind of fill that void, and it kind of just kept going. So, you know, we kept it as a, as a weekly. Um, unfortunately, work. yeah, it's definitely a lot of work. Um, the venue we were at, you know, got shut down, so we had to move it. And it was kind of like, a, it was kind of a blessing in disguise, because the venue we had moved to was Woody's on Sahara, and, you know, we were at Woody's for a few months, and then it got bought out, which... It was more than a few months. Yeah, I'd, I'd say, no, it was about a year, I think, we are at Woody's. That's okay, more yeah. than a few months. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, for, me it, all blend, for me, it all, you know, <laughs> it all blends in together, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, it, it, it had got bought out, and the guys that bought out, the, you know, that bought out Woody's had been spying on basically the night that we were doing. Mm -hmm. Trying to get and a bead. They were trying to figure out, you know, <clears throat> why so many people were coming to this bar and They weren't house heads, I was doing Well no, it was it was, they were house heads. Oh, the they thing were. was it's just the bar itself. I mean it was it was an old bar. It's an old neighborhood bar. Um but that's what made it was just the surrounding, the yeah. setting of it. You know, so it kinda of fit. But once it got bought out and turned into the red room, it kinda of went from here to hear right as far as you know a bar holding an event like that right so um i mean it it, it kind of changed a lot of things for me um and for a lot of other people here in town you know because at the time it was primarily the only weekly that was going on i mean it's it was every thursday we, we would start at 10 sometimes 9 p.m um we did a release at, party there 
What's we, that? We, had, we had our second vinyl release. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It was a shitty release, but... Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, when we started Soul Kitchen, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but we started with... Uh, the first two hours was drum, <clears throat> was drum and bass. I mean, I'm a huge That's drum and bass fan. Yeah, someone I love drum and bass. And, uh, you know, I had two residents. I think it was actually three, but, I mean, they rotated or they all played <laughs> together on a weekly basis. And it was always drum and bass <clears throat> from 10 to midnight, and then, you know... It would go right into house. Hmm. And then, you know, bold, we would have our guests. Like that. That's a bold format, flipping it like that. Like you, yeah. you see it the opposite way. That's pretty cool, though. It was good, though. I mean, because <clears> it, 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 you know, a lot of people knew about it, and especially like all the drum and bass heads, you know, yeah. that were into that style of music at that time, you know, which <clears> for me, excuse me, was a perfect fit, you know, because yeah. it was the jazzy drum and bass, you know, like the LTJ yeah, book, that's, um, that's what the Fotag, like. that's what I like too. you know, the Ronnie, si the early book. Ronnie Science, yeah. you know. Stuff yeah. like that. So it, it kind of bled right into what we were playing, you know. I call that sexy drum and bass. Yeah. It's that sexy that, that, it's Definitely that, sexy, yeah. you know. But I think that's where, you know, we we ended up catching like a lot of people, you know, were just like, okay, they play drum and bass at this time, and then it goes into house. But, you know, because the vibe was so good, it, people would just end up staying there, you know, most of the night and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And the other thing also is, is you know, we would get like different shifts of people that would come in. So, you know, you, you would have your first, your early shift of people, then you'd get your second wave, and then your third wave of people would be around three o'clock. You know, people just getting off of work, yeah. off the strip or whatever, because, you know, back then there was gaming at the bar. That right. So that was a huge, you know, deal because a lot of people would come in and, you know, do their thing. Do their thing, but at the same time, they were there to enjoy the good music and whatnot. So it was a unique, yeah. it was a unique place, man. I like, yeah, definitely. I like, I like you good know, it, was, it was good. You know, I loved it. Um, unfortunately, you know, it, it, it closed its doors and whatnot, so, you know, but we were there in that building for eight years, wow. and it was a weekly That's a lot. That for long. eight years, yeah, so, I mean, it, it definitely Damn. took a toll, you know, because after we left there, you know, we had went down the street to the Artisan, yeah. and, you know, I was at the Artisan for almost a year, and that was good, it was a little different. You know, I mean, the artisan though is, is it's hard to it's hard to work it's hard to make that place work. It really it's a beautiful is. place, you know, <laughs> but definitely, I mean, you you definitely have to work the room and figure out where to set up and do all that stuff, you know, especially back then. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it is now, but um, it's definitely obstacles there. Yeah. Well, there was a lot more <clears> back then, <throat> where there isn't that many now, you know. But still, I mean, it's it's still, you know, it's it's an awesome place. I love the it, venue man. is is you know it's a very unique venue, yeah. especially for here for Vegas. Yeah, because you know, so many people are just used to going to X, Y, Z, cutting, yeah, whatever. Basically the same yeah. thing, you know, because that's what it ends up being. Everyone's used to uh, guest lists, <laughs> yeah, and bottle service, and let me let me let me tell you, I was I thought about I thought about him last night or or this morning when I woke up. This, this is to I can sum up with the impact at at least at, on my level that you've made in the scene by. A question I asked Tony last night. I'm sitting there, we're planning for May, right? And I was like, listen, we should do this party again. I have some people come in, you know, and uh, some friends of the label, some locals. And I was like, what week do you think? He told me some week. I said, wait a minute, what week is Edgar's party at Artisan? <laughs> I don't want to fucking compete with that shit because motherfucker's going to be fucking dead. And, 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 and it wasn't even trying to joke around. Right. That's the impact that you make because I know that the motherfuckers, are, they, they, they ain't coming that night because yeah. they're going to be banged up the night before because everyone's <laughs> going to be there. And it wasn't even a joke. It was like, Oh yeah, yeah, we need to put this this week then. So that's that's how right I look on. at the impact of what you want to see. Beyond it, just being you know uh, like decent fundamentals as far as uh, you know the logistics the shit that you think about when you're planning something. You know, it's well that should be one of the deals. But yeah, it's, yeah. But, and, and, but and he cares about that so. night. Dude. Nobody's coming out that night. Yeah, <laughs> they all bang. Yeah, because I mean, we've seen daybreak <laughs> quite a few times. Yeah, I mean, I see it that weekend because you know. What week is that again? Cause I, it's I the third Tony. weekend. It's the, <laughs> it's the third weekend of each month. So okay. basically, you know, you, you have Soul Kitchen that Thursday, and then Friday, you know, of course, I take the break, and then on Saturday, we're at the Artisan. The That's good weekend. for you. At least that would yeah. be good for me because you get it all done. Yeah. You didn't start the promotion. So, it's, you know, it's basically two parties in one, in one weekend, you know, mm -hmm. which for me works out. You know, mm -hmm. initially, we didn't want to do the third Saturday because of Soul Kitchen, but now I think it's like a better fit. Yeah. yeah and, it's, and it's worked out beautifully. You know, we've been there on the patio. Uh, you know, Tino and I do the patio the third Saturday, and um, 
we've done over a year now, and I mean, all the nights have been I really, really good. I'm not coming back until you, know? you send me that record, though. Speaking so. of Tino, <laughs> let, me, let me get some business out of the way real oh, quick. First up, uh, big up to Tino, Techno Taco Tuesday. Yeah, definitely. Uh, getting it in. Um, also, cymatic sessions with, um, with Rafael and Kimmy and the whole CS crew. Uh, Wednesdays, DCR also, um, Unfiltered Soul with uh, Rob Alon and, and Doug Wilcox. Did they have Steve Lawler at at Summit Sessions? No. I'm sorry, I just, I just thought of that. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> just no, 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 like, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they know, what they, they know what they're getting when they watch you in there. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Thursday, you got Soul Jewel with uh, Jay Handel. and love that guy. Yeah, for real. Uh, and there also Thursday, you have uh, Lenny and Ikaika down at DCR. Uh, Friday, you got... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yes, right. You got damn right I'm skipping that Black <laughs> War shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you got this dude over here. You know, if you really want to laugh at some comedy, come watch a white dude with dreads play. No, I'm uh, just kidding. Yeah, I, I do. I do play the after party. Thank you con kindly, my Listen. <laughs> and then um, Friday, you got um, uh, Friday Night Social with um, uh, with Cabo Sanchez, <laughs> and um, and Saturday Saturday Night Vibes with uh, Moses Douglas Gibbs, <laughs> Uncle Ben. That's right. Uh, uh, every third Thursday, you got Soul Kitchen with this man right here. Um, and also on the after hour side, you got after over at uh, Sahara Lounge, uh, as well as you know monthly here's and there's between artisan. You got Club Twenty Seven doing their thing once a month now. Um, so get in where you fit in. Um, patronize. Not your house Sunday. Yeah, well, fuck them. Let me just tell you about um, that. No, let me just tell you about this one. Right <laughs> let me just tell you about. This. Listen, if for no other reason, listen. I'm a resident. I was tired. I did not want to go. I am so glad I went last night because. This motherfucker laid it down like he owed people money. And I felt like I did. <laughs> and then Mindy, he set Mindy up like, dude, Lord have mercy. I, I was, I would, I didn't want to leave at that point. I'm like, dude, what's going on? Is it tight? Really? Why the lights on? It was that. It was really good to set last night. Man, you, you, can, you killed it, brother. I mean, without like being too like you know forward thinking. <laughs> in, 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 in the end, the that that night in the end embodied everything I mentioned earlier in the post. You know, uh, it wasn't just me looking forward to playing. I mean, I, I, I play, you know. But when I'm playing with people that I enjoy <clears throat> being around, yeah, people that are just good people, generally speaking, fuck the DJing. The DJing is a bonus, yeah. you know. So when you're around, like, people, especially when, like, me as, as a DJ and, and as, a, as, a, as a man, I, I do what I do and we all have our burdens, we all bear our crosses and shit. And sometimes, you know, you just need to exercise the fucking demons. And I needed that so bad. Well, and then the bonus out. being playing with people that I just love being around. Fucking Nelson, he's got great fucking energy. You know, Mindy, that's that's my boo boo right Who's there. Who's Nelson? Major Nelson. Oh. oh and uh, I mean, like, M Mindy's my boo boo, you know. That, like, her, man. I, I was glad that I, was, I wasn't the only one in tears last night. That sounds like because I mean it, it it came out while I was playing, man. It yeah. was it was just one of those things where you I know. I get it, but I'd have made fun of you if I saw it. Oh yeah, well you know I'm I, I'm, I get I'm it. totally secure in my motherfucking no, I mean, manhood. No, but I would have to make fun of you a little bit. Hey, well you know what? <laughs> you, you may have gotten away with it because the bail money's a little low right now. <laughs> I used that last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it, it was a great night, it and, and, and it really did embody uh, that that therapy that some that some of us uh, need. That that's necessary as a DJ when you pouring your shit out. I got it the week before when no when you when you were uh, not there and neither <laughs> neither was uh, neither neither you see me stumble and neither was uh, uh, Black Irish and it, it's silver bracelets only only because it was just Tony not playing and you know me being the sweet guy that I am not to rub something in someone's face. Tony said, "Man, this was fun. This is great. Not so many people." I said, "Yeah, I know, motherfucker. See, I told you." <laughs> yeah, that's always a good thing. I mean, what's the matter? You don't like the marathon lineup? <laughs> Less, less is definitely better. <laughs> At times. 
regardless of how good they are, and it's not taken away from how good those people may no, be. No, no, not not but you definitely cheapen, you know, their contributions. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good. It was, uh, it was, by, it was, it was a good week. I, I felt the same, sort of the same way you're talking about right now. Like it was just good just to get there, not it be was wholesome. Stressed out about it was. Uh, it was. It was a real <laughs> dance ritual. Yeah. And granted, yeah. I played a bunch of old shit because my my main drive died. But you know, but but, but, it, but it still felt good. You know, uh, just older. trying to do it in in a different way and all the. The shit that comes along with that's the key. Yeah, I'll care to play old shit if you play it. I don't want to hear funk phenomenon and fucking this the same way I've heard it since '96, '97, right. a million times. Do something different. Mix that shit in with your asshole or something. I don't know. Do something, dude. Like this just make me surprise me. Don't bore me. <laughs> now getting back to this dude right here. Uh, there, there was one part at point after um, after Red Room, you did a couple of <coughs> short stints. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, when the Red Room closed down, we had went to the Artisan. We were there like nine months at the Artisan and uh, ended up leaving the Artisan and we went down the street to this place <laughs> called the Red Label. And on, paper, that like, on the paper, that sounds like that'd be a good fucking transition. Yo. On paper. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It sounds good, but you know. Wow, that was a spot. A cool venue, uh -huh. but just, you know, when you're dealing with management staff owners and things don't add up <laughs> it, it's you know it, it's it's kind of hard to you know to, to to deal with people like that so i kind of bowed out <coughs> and i ended up giving the night not soul kitchen but just the night the thursday night to uh to daniel martinez and johnny vibe mm. and um you know they had worked it for you know a few months and whatnot but they you know eventually pulled out also um after the Red Label, I had went further east on Sahara to, which is now the Sahara Lounge, but back then it was the Square Apple. <laughs> and, I forgot about that. Yeah, one. so the Square Apple was... That was, a, that was a short stint. That was the shortest stint of all. I mean, I think we did maybe three weeks there. And um, the thing was, they had a jazz band that would play there the Thursday nights that we were coming in. So it was a jazz band, which to me was awesome, but... When you're going from a jazz band to a DJ and you have all these people that are a lot older mm -hmm. and they're not used to they probably already that have sound. they already have a perceived idea before anyway. Well, and and I think that was one yeah. of the problems, you know. <clears throat> so uh, it it was kind of hard to work that, you know, and we tried. I mean, yeah. we we tried, but it wasn't it wasn't going to work. Yeah. That's so tough. I kind of just bowed out and I kind of put Soul Kitchen on hold for a couple months until the Vanguard had opened up downtown. So basically when the Vanguard opened, I had moved Soul Kitchen downtown and... It's almost in my mind like it's, the, it's all, that's his home. That's where it's been forever. Well, and, and that's the thing now because, you know, we've been there since it opened, so it's <coughs> six years, five yeah. or six it years now. It seems like so much longer. Yeah, it does it seem seems a lot like longer. Saw, that's the know? home. And, uh, I mean, and I've been going downtown for, you know, <coughs> over 15 years now, but, you know, for other things and whatnot. But uh, the Vanguard is where we're at now. You know, downtown, you know, East Fremont, uh, that district there. And, um, you know, it's home. You know, Vanguard, to, for, you know, for Soul Kitchen right now is home. You know, it, it's, it fits. Yeah. You know, I have a good staff that works there. And I think that's a big part in a lot of these parties that a lot of people don't recognize or a lot of people don't see At is, you know, all. is if you have a good bar Jennifer. staff. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for <laughs> accommodating us and giving us a place. But yeah, that, that's 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 what provides the foundation for everything. Yeah, if, if, yeah. that's, if you get the headaches, everything that you've mentioned before, there's been or a lot of there's been some some headache with with staff somewhere yeah. that didn't work for whatever reason. If you have that foundation that's working and vibing, yeah. that allows you to do what you yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, if, if it takes you forever to get a damn drink, and when you finally get it, the damn drink sucks. Like some places, um, damn, it 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 really. It makes you salty. I mean, yeah. it, it, it affects everything. That's just everything. that in. I mean, I'm just imagine but button heads with like people. I've well, butt, butt heads with people. When I, to me, just playing a weekly gig for yeah. myself as a DJ, that's like, ugh. And well, that's you know? the thing, you know, <laughs> that a lot of people, you know, because it's easy to say, oh, I can do this or I can do that. But once you get involved and you realize it's a lot more than just coming in, setting up, playing music. Yeah, you know, there, there are a lot of moving parts, a lot yeah, of intangible stuff. You know, you're dealing with, you know, you're dealing with, Personalities. <laughs> you're dealing with people in general. I mean, you're dealing with personalities, people, and whatnot. Because anything can happen on a night. You yeah. know, power failure, this, that. I mean, there's just cool so night, many though, things. You when know, the power went out. Yeah, I mean, we've. 
That We've had two cool two of those <laughs> in the last 13 years. I've had two power outs. <laughs> and one actually lasted a few hours, where one lasted maybe 10 minutes. Mm, that's but, a long I mean, time of, that, for sound to go down. Yeah, Three it 10 is. Minutes, like, but it, it was, you know, it, it makes for the night. Yeah, people it talk makes, about that it shit. makes for the night because yeah. it's just like, it, you know, it what's going to happen? It makes for the before and after. Yeah, because you don't know if people are going to stay know, or lights come on, leave like, or whatever, oh, you know. Are they going to come back later? <laughs> <You're> so, <laughs> But no, I mean, as, as far as, you know, dealing with a venue, I mean, I've dealt with, you know, venues where the bartenders, the owners, you know, aren't on the same page. And, oh, yeah. you know, to me... A bartender can make or break your night. Yes, and you that's know? why I mentioned that because I mean, it, 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 it's, they, it's, they it's an can, issue. you know, they can definitely affect your night because oh, yeah. if you have a bartender that is just negative about what you're doing and about because they don't like the music, I mean, the whole room feels that, you know, yeah. and they have a shitty attitude behind the bar because and they, they don't like what's being played. Or, and those on the fence can sway people. Who, people they can sway those on the fence. Well, that's the thing. Attitude. Yeah, like, and that's it, the thing, you know, you because know. people pick that up. Or, you know, say you go to order your drink and the bartender's like, oh, you know, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't like this and this and that, you know. So that just basically bleeds to somewhere else and this and that. So, I mean. I've, I've always looked at it um, from the <clears throat> personal side, like when I go to, to patronize a night and, um, and my personal experience with a bartender. But it actually, that it broadened uh, when, when, I go, when I go back and forth to flag. I always go there as soon as I get in. It's like customary. As soon as I get in, it's how I celebrate arriving safely. You know, I go to the spot, and I'll just be sitting there chilling, and every time I go there, I hear someone, they'll see a flyer, <coughs> and they'll ask about, you know, the nights that are coming up. They may be visiting, and just listening to how the, the bartender, well, how telling you, yeah, yeah is, is, is talking about the nights that are coming up. Whether, and, and they can, what I've learned is, really good bartenders, even if they don't care about the night, they can hate the fucking music. Push it for that but, dollar. Exactly. Yeah. You know, hey, it's really cool. You may not be really into it, but it's a nice vibe, and you should come through anyway, and check it out, blah, yeah. blah, blah. All that, all those little intangibles, little, those little, little moving parts and next factors make a big, big difference. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's one of the things is that, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, with a venue or with, you know, staff like that is get everyone on the same page because it'll make for a better night, <coughs> for a better evening, and yeah, less headaches, of course. But, uh, I mean, that's the one thing I have I've learned throughout the years is, you know, um, get with the staff, you know, to make sure that they are on with you. If not, that's, then that's, ask them, hey, is there someone else, you know, possibly smart, yeah. and whatnot. Because, that wants to work that night. Yeah, that or... wants to work that night. And, you know, the thing is, is you know, <coughs> the, bar the bartender's there to work. They're yeah. there to make money. So why not have them help you promote the night? That's actually yeah. good advice. You know, I mean, because all in all, it, it makes for the night. So... You're happy. The bartender's happy. The people are happy. Because I've seen it, it makes too, up for a good night. Well, the management, the the owner, and the and owner, the owner may be into something, but the management's not. And they're like, especially yeah. if it's a different night, all of a sudden they're thinking, well, I should be home by now. And they're doing everything they can to shut it down. It's like, or, or they want to treat it like it's top forty or something. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. it should yeah. be doing this. This crowd should be like this. <clears> you know, what the fuck is up with Pat and Cast down? Well, hey, hey, it's not. You know, <laughs> you know. I mean, like there was this. I didn't bring up that spot. But it, it really, this, before you even get in, it, it changes the mood. Cold spot. You know. Yeah, oh, no. I, was, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go there. But, uh. I do have to laugh at one on Wednesdays. <laughs> it's a more hip-hop base, so I think, it's a, I think they're trying to be racist. Right. They, they, why, they, why they don't let you in? No, they patted me down, made me take off my do-rag. I well, said, I mean, it, kinda, it was green. Hey, dude. Man, <laughs> white dudes with dreads are kind of scary. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're. <laughs> So are black guys and Chinese guys. You fucking fucking got tum ass. <laughs> How much weed you got on there, big boy? <laughs> I said, what, what, what gang reps the green colors that you worried about? I didn't take this motherfucker off. My hair looks like shit. I just don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it, it does start from the top down, and that that climate, uh, um, the 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 feeling that's passed along from the, energy, man. It's all from, about from that. From the bar yeah. owner down to the bar <clears throat> staff to the bar, bar manager and all that stuff. It makes a big difference. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wouldn't know because I don't get to play at Soul Kitchen a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, it's a lot harder now that we're a monthly. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Spe speaking of which, you're like, yeah, who, motherfucker. <laughs> through, through, through the years, who have you had play at Soul Kitchen? Um, well, you know, Soul Kitchen has always been based on local talent. <clears throat> uh, I think that's why it's lasted as long as it has. But, I mean, we've had, 
you know, national talent throughout the years, and then we've had international you've had talent. My, you've had two of my favorites. So, I mean, it's, it's, we've had a lot of good people come through there. I mean, it's just that thing to where, you know, people ask me, what was, what's your favorite Soul Kitchen? And to me, they're all my favorites. Yeah, that's you know, because it's it, it's tough. it's. I mean, there are nights that do stand out, mm -hmm. but all in all, I mean, Soul Kitchen is my baby. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's that's what I love, and and you know, I I've kind of looked at all of them now. They're all my favorites. You know, yeah. I mean, they're all good nights. All we dropped all. the ball. We should have worked it in when Rick was coming town today. Yeah. and I didn't know that you knew Rick. Yeah, he's played for me before, and, and we we. we yeah. uh, Rich, I, mean, if he, I mean, you see that picture? I was in his wedding, man. Like, I, if I'd have known that. I, I just going through Facebook. I saw it. That next time, because yeah. you know we're we're we're, we're tight. He stayed with us, him and his wife, and you know Kelly and stuff. Next time, let's work that together. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do it because it's, it's that's just no. Speaking brainer. of Soul Kitchen being your baby, <laughs> I, I can't help but touch on the fact that touching babies now. It can't be just your baby. You no, know? no. So I want to start off by saying <laughs> big ups to L Boogie, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because honestly, I, I didn't, I, I wouldn't, she, I met her first. That's how I found Soul Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. I would be suspicious as hell about that if I was you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, she's getting you know, Lisa, Lisa's been a big, you know, she's definitely been a big part of it, you know. Gotta have that. Gotta have that. Not as much lately because, you know, of work and personal life and stuff like that. But, I mean, she's definitely been a huge part of it. You know, she's helped me get through, you know, times where I'm kind of just like, yeah, fuck this shit. I don't want to do it no more. That's, what, just like, no. that's what they do. You know, they get they, they well, you know, they're good at that. It's it's a good thing though. Yeah. Because No, I agree. I mean, you know, everyone gets in their funks and whatnot and you know, I've been in a couple of mine where I'm just like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't want to do it no more, this and that. And then she always comes back and says, you know, who's gonna who else is gonna do something that you know, you've been doing for this long? Just, you know, who's gonna pick up the pieces? And I mean it's it, it's a good thing to hear. But at the same time, it's just like, okay, that's what I needed to hear. Mm -hmm. That's you know, the key. That's to keep what's me what going. You, it's what yeah, you yeah. needed. But yeah. it's not only, you know, it, it's her, <laughs> but it's it's people like, you know, yourself, mm -hmm. yourself, you know, that keep this thing going, you know. And it's not just so much Soul Kitchen. It's other events, too, because now we are, and I say we because Vegas isn't that big. No. You yeah. know, I mean, granted, it's a transient town. It'll always be a transient town. Yeah. But, you know, now there's a lot more events going on than there was two years ago. Yeah. And we've Shit, all been even doing a year ago. We've all been in the scene a while. This, this scene a while. Yeah. You know, and it's good to yeah, see definitely. It. We, It's good to see things doing it. Yeah, and that's know? the thing, you know, is it's people are branching off and doing other parties and doing this and doing different things, which is good. And it's good <clears throat> as a whole for the whole scene. Yeah. You know, whether it be a, a soulful night, a tech house night, a techno night, I mean... Whatever it be, you know, <clears throat> everyone is still participating. Everyone is doing, you know, their part. Everybody's contributing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. unfortunately, myself, I really haven't been able to go out as much as I used to because I've kind of buckled down a lot at home and at work, mm -hmm. you know, which is something I, you know, I had to do personally. Yeah. You know, but I mean, when I can go out and support, I do support, mm -hmm. you know. And that's the way, that's the way I'm too. I'm, 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 I like it. I, I, I always appreciate the, your attitude on that too because you and I have talked about this before. It's like, yeah. I never expect, because we're, we're all older, and, and a lot of the people that we talk we're always trying to get those younger guys, but I never expect cats to come out all the time on yeah. a Sunday, because mm. when I'm playing, because it's, or whenever I'm playing, because we're older. And yeah. you've said, you've echoed that back to me, it's like, yeah, I get it, you yeah. know, and it's like, it's like, when I can, I can, if I can, I can't, Yeah. but that's okay, because there's more people picking up the slack, it's when people don't get that, it's like, I can't come out every night. Yeah. There's things, I got to run this. There's yeah. things I got to yeah. do. No, well, I mean, it, it, started, it started with me, personally. You know, I used to be hard on myself because even when I couldn't afford to, I was everywhere. Yeah. You know, because, and, it was, and it was partially, not selfish, but more self-centered because you never know what you may miss. Right. I heard you know, you. so, so you, you got that, uh, that fear of missing out a little bit because that's what house music does. You just never know when that, might, that night is going to be you know, one that gets etched in your memory like forever. <laughs> and I think that's, you know, like, like what's for, me, that was, uh, for me, that was for me, that was a thing was, you know, I was almost afraid of, I was going to miss something, mm -hmm. you know, who's going to be there or who's going to show up Yeah. again, because, you know, back to being in Vegas as a transient, people are here all the time. They're coming through whatnot. So, I mean, 
you never know who's going to pop in. That's the yeah. one great thing you about know? Soul Kitchen, though. You, if you have dropped out of the scene, because you know, I, I, when I was dropped out for a good four and a half years just working on music. I happened to go out and to a soul kitchen night, and there was every old head. I thought some of them motherfuckers had died, probably. <laughs> well, at least I figured they had. They probably don't say about me. Like every old head on the planet was there. Now, now, of course, now that I'm out more again, every time I see these same people, I said, "Man, I haven't been out for years." I remember I saw you out last week. What are you talking about? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's a good thing. That's a testament to the party because it has been it's been doing it for so long. It, it will garner older cats to come out and say, I need to go be a part of this. And that's that's yeah. a good thing. You know, it speaks and, volumes, I think. But it also speaks to the ne the to the necessity of, of it being this dual purpose of <clears throat> uh, being a home for, for those of us that grew up in the scene and not necessarily grow out, but grow older to the point where we just can't be there all the time. Yeah. But we know when we do come, it still feels like home, as well as facilitating the, the, the youngsters coming in. Um, yeah. On, on on so many different levels. Like for one, you have like those that get older and just can't come out and afford to drink like that on a regular basis, physically you know? or financially. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because yeah. it hurts both ways. Yeah, I mean, people grow up, they got kids, and you know, they they and they they're doing the same thing with fams, and you know, uh, and spending time at home and, and doing what's necessary, and and trying to still be there and be relevant for when those handful of people do decide to come out, and hopefully it's. The stars are lying, they all come out at the same time and I, all that, you know. I saw a kid that, I, I don't think I told you this, uh, because I, I, didn't, I don't, didn't have didn't see you since, but when Doc was here, uh, Francesca and I always went, and we'd, we'd been, have, been enjoying ourselves for a couple of days. It was a tough week of, we'd, we were we were having fun that week, we were probably partying too much, but we didn't stay that long, because we'd already seen Doc like three times that year. I don't travel out to see him. But I'm talking to this, this kid's talking to me. I'm taking a kid. He's probably 25, 22, something like that. Kid. Yeah, and he's uh, he's like, uh, hey, I, I've heard about this Doc, this Doc Martin guy. Is he any good? I want, first of all, <laughs> by an instinct, I want to slap him up in his face because he's our all-time favorite DJ, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, I tell this kid, and he goes, no, he's any good. I said, you take my, uh, you know, people right. crowd up. I say, I tell you what, it's, you, you, we're about to, we're about to leave here soon. You, because I already talked to the dog and said about hello. Said, you go, you stay around. You skip, you take my spot. And we pulled back a little bit, and the dog got into it. He was about into it about I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. That just boom. This kid's just like, looks back and he goes, man, this guy's fucking awesome. I'm like, yes. So yeah, a little, edu a little education goes yeah, along. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Well, I mean, the, the people don't really realize um, what it takes to be educated. In other words. Doc could have played the exact <coughs> same set, exact same music, but let's say the crowd was a lot thinner. The vibe isn't quite the same. You know, you don't feel it quite the, the same. The bartender was an asshole. Yeah, all those things, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, all, all those little intangibles really make a night a night, and it's really <coughs> hard to to physically put your hands and orchestrate everything to turn out exactly the same way all the time. So that's why all you can do is your best, you know, and, you know, Leave a little bit of room for holy shit, you know. Right. <laughs> no, I think definitely. you bring in a good a good balance of bringing in big, big guys and local guys. I think it's a, a perfect balance almost. Yeah, I mean we've you know we've always tried to keep that balance. Um, do you, like card, you, you, you put a lot of forethought in that, or it just happened? No, I, I actually think about it now. Where before it was kind of just like spur of the moment. Okay, you who's know, available? Yeah, who was available, or you know <clears> stuff like that. But now I just. I put a lot more thought into it. I think a little more about it now, and I'm just like, okay. You know, I look at my dates. I look at the months, you know. And now, again, with so much other stuff going on, you know, I'm starting to reach out to people and ask, hey, you know, who do you have this week? You know, what's going on this weekend and whatnot. So then that way, you know, we don't have two headliners in one night. That's just dumb. So, man. you know, you, you end up thinning out the crowd yeah. and whatnot. So I, I, I'd rather, you know logistically look at it that way and work on it that way, you know? Yeah. Now, now it just makes two, more now sense. Now, having two headliners in one week is one thing, but what do you feel about... Here we go. Head, head, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about headliners that come in, you know, let's say, uh, you know, you cough up the dough to have a headliner come in, and then someone else, you know, do, does the, well, since you're in town, you know, yeah. tomorrow or the day after, I want you to come and play my spot. Yeah. You know, um, does, does, that, do, does that not... Take away from the, like the impact of that person being here. Depends on if you split the airfare. Well, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I don't. I don't really think it does because <clears throat> you know most people will set their sights on the one night. 
Mm -hmm. And if they can make it the second night, then they'll go to the second night or, you know, depending where he's going to be. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it really doesn't bother me. I mean, if he can help the scene and, you know, so speaking yeah. as, as, as doing the both nights, then mm -hmm. why not? You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be uh, hateful towards it or, or, or hurtful, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if it helps, then yeah, why not? You know, I mean, if he's up to it and, you know, the other company is, is, is down for it, then why not? Yeah. You know, okay. I mean, I've, I've never really had an issue with that because, you know, I've done it a couple times, you know, and, and other people here in town have done it with me. So it's just like, you know, if it works for both of us, why not? You if know, it works. She should ask that first, so y'all would split the airfare. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's probably a lot less fucking, it's probably a lot more palatable if you say, hey, let's put this airfare. But I mean, something like that, you know, it, it, you know it usually oh, doesn't hold on, happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaking of shitty bartenders, I mean, what the fuck, man? God damn. You know what I mean? Listen, I, I just provide the studio place. <laughs> I'm, I am not the studio for the drinks. I'm not needed at all. <laughs> Cow, mule. Shit. Oh Jesus! You got the, you're the guest, so you got the big one. Yeah. Uncle Ben doesn't even drink anything, so we did, we had the, that's why we had extra. Oh nice. Uncle Ben just bought some rice or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Damn, I'm about to get Nelly in here. It's getting hot in here. <sighs> so we got 14 years coming up. What, what 14 else, years. What, what else you working on? Um. Ooh. Look at Bruno Brown. Oh shit. That's um, put that where it is. It's fine. Save your money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the 14 years coming up. It's in May. You know, third, uh, third Thursday in May. Um, looking at a couple, you know, guys that come in. We really haven't finalized on who it's going to be, but mm -hmm. it'll definitely be a good one. You know, whatnot. Um, and as far as other nights, you know, like I said, I have, uh, you know, the sunrise sessions. On the patio at the Artisan, which is the third Saturday. It's a killer. Um, it's a good night. You know, we do... Uh, it's bumping out there, man. It's it's a good night. You got the sound dialed. It's a good... The sound, it just makes you feel your teeth. It's a really good night. You know, <laughs> Sober, Saturdays, too. You know, I know what you're thinking. Sober. Over there. <laughs> it's just like... Whoop, whoop, um, whoop. I love it. You know, we've the been... The sound uh, makes your lower jaw stick out. <laughs> it's amazing, man. It's just good, dude. <laughs> you know, we've been doing, you know... One off sort of Bocho Sushi downtown, mm -hmm. you know, the loft, which is how was New Year's Eve? A, it was amazing, it was, yeah. it was awesome. It was a really, really good night, you it know. I really mean, good. excuse me, the venue is, is perfect, it really is. <clears throat> you know, it's a perfect venue. You know, Carlos Sanchez, you know, he hooks it up, yeah. You know, it, it's it's and that's one of the things is you know, you're dealing with a venue with someone that knows what's up, knows what's up, so you know, it flows, yeah, perfectly, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I have that going on. You know, we do the Unce Party still, which, you know, I think the last one we, we did was uh, LIB Weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and right now we're working wait, 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 on... What did you do that? What's that? Huh? What's LIB Weekend? Uh, Life, Life is, is Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, The damn. festival that's downtown. Damn, that's yeah. some old hip shit. Man. Yeah, LIB. so... LIB. Um, I thought it was a sexual gender preference or some right? sort. I didn't know what that no, was. Not yet. Me. I'm old, man. <laughs> I don't know what's up. <laughs> um, I'm actually working on something right now that I've been working on for a while, but... I've, I've kind of put on the back burner, but now I've kind of been working on it a little more. Um, I really don't want to say too much about it, but oh, it'll, shit. you know, it's, it's going to be, we want to say up, man. Give us a up. secret location and oh, it, it won't be posted on the interweb. I mean, that's all I can really tell Old you. LA style? Old, old sub level old style. School. Okay. Yeah, you know, and that's, playing it? that's what that's what we're, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you know I'm working on right now. All, like all I'm asking is that at the very least they got to go to White Cross to find the address to get to get the address to from to Louis. It. Yeah, we'll get you guys. You have to get it from Louis. <laughs> you got you got you got to get a breakfast special. <laughs> what was the what, 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 and, and Louis sub -level, give you. The sub, the sub level Halloween uh, two years ago went down. It was it, it was so old school. I forgot how shit was. On Seventh Street downtown, we'd leave the the damn standard, come down down Skid Row, and they gave his address. The guy goes, "Yeah, yeah, this isn't it. You need to go around the corner. This one, thank you. I'm like, "Ain't that some shit?" Nah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's definitely done right. You know the way you know they, they <clears throat> you know they have kept that alive down yeah, there. That's why we're bumping at five o'clock in the morning uh, in L.A. It's on amazing. A, in an empty bodega. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing. You know what he does down there oh, is dude. an amazing party. You know, yeah. I mean. 
I, <gasps> I've been to a couple of them, and it's just like every time I dude, leave, you know, you come that. back with look at that, dude. with I, inspiration <laughs> to do, you know, stuff like that. But you know, unfortunately, here, you know, the warehouse it'll never work. The warehouse scene here has been clamped down to where you know it's just super hard to yeah. find a venue or at least something like that to give you that that I'm vibe su- alone. I'm surprised know? that you did as well as you did at Red Room because people don't even want to leave the strip. And yeah. that's, that's just far enough off a strip where people are like, well, fuck, I ain't going there. Yeah. Like, that's, I mean, seriously, people come, don't want to leave the motherfucker. But, but at the time during the Red Room, like people that were interested in the Red Room wouldn't be on the strip. But that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, this town in general, though, like, mm. it's a test with that party, you know, that, that people are willing to go wherever you went yeah. and say, or should I say, you know what I'm those saying? that did come to the Red Room, you know, probably used to do like uh, Empire Ballroom. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. Best. Well, Oh, you weren't here for Glow. No, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like you missed out. Glow, the hop, and Dude. all the old school. i got to be honest with you. I, can't put, I put people in two categories. Those that went to Glow and those who didn't. Because there's two different levels of rickishness, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Rickish. I made that word up. <laughs> Act of being like Rick James. <laughs> and guys, rickish as hell. <laughs> It works. Fuck your couch. It works, man. <laughs> well, you got to give us more on that later, man, if you can. Yeah, so I we will. Can, so we can I mean, give, we can, I mean, so our 15 viewers can fucking. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. You know, 25, definitely. You, can get, you can tell them how many there are right now. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm about to spread love. Is David Serrano, David Serrano there yet? Because he, he's our number one fan. I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I would be at the very least slightly disappointed. I actually have David this month for uh, Soul Kitchen. Oh, yeah, I right. have David I and um, uh, Fernando Alva. Yeah, F three R. So you know, you know him and I play well together too. You know? Yeah, Fernando's, <laughs> Fernando's dope. David, you know, I love David. You know, both those guys are good. And I like that David always asks, "Cause hey, wait, 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 I know how you play now. So the first time we play together, he's like, where you, he always asks where you want it, which is not, not everyone does that. Yeah, you know what I mean, like." You, they no, just don't. everyone doesn't ask. You and him so much. <laughs> you you know. him and Mindy, about it. I've well, never played I mean, with you, so I <laughs> really. Mindy well, goes both ways. <laughs> Mindy goes, because Mindy's like, hey, can, can you leave it off here for me? I'm like, all right, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That's how she do. But speaking of our 15 viewers, big ups to all your Casey for checking in. Uh, Who? Jackie Baby, Jackson Tran, and of course, you know. Uh, Is David there? Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. I, I want to see. Uh, Lisa, Chris <laughs> Jocelyn, and uh, um, uh, Joey Merck, Jerry Merc- Merc- Mercado, Next Dimension, uh, out of Phoenix. Oh, my boy, Andy Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> Brenda D. I need to hear her play again. I heard you know what I mean? Like, just, just, just seeing her, her name right there just gives me the warm I, and fuzzies. I mean, because I, 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 love those two, I love those two cats where they play music. Yeah, I fucking... Awesome. I, 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 I almost feel bad because I started calling uh, Rob Ballon and Doug W the dynamic duo. And I almost feel bad because, I mean, it really, I mean, they are the dynamic duo, but these two, man. Brenda well, and Brian, man, well, they, 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 they only way talk to... about getting it in. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I love watching them motherfuckers get in. It's, that just it's, sounds it's wrong. Some, it's that just, just some fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. I, I, you know, I got the dirty and, brain. And, and, and if you don't, you know, it's kind of funny. You know, it's just a little bit. I enjoy them. They don't play enough. They don't play enough where I need to see them play. As if you come out. Well, basically, we need a party out here in Southern, Southern Highlands. That'd be great. It'd be bumping. Uh, <laughs> I gotta pack a bag when I come out here. <laughs> Lunch bag, sleeping bag. <laughs> All that you shit. know, I'm closer to tacos, man. I'm like 12 minutes away. It's so much closer than me living in Sumlin. It doesn't seem like it, though. Yeah, I know. It does, but well, it you is. know, the 15 does wonders. <laughs> yeah, it is, when it's, it's not backed up. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a chance. <laughs> Everyone says, man, you live so far. Like, yeah, by design, motherfuckers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like I said, if it's not backed up, it's five minutes. sailing. Yeah. You know, well, I'm glad to have your ass out here, you man. I'll be, I'll be no, talking, thank you for I'll having me. I'll be talking about having you out here just to fuck around. Right. Just so I can learn your damn mixer more. Yeah, yeah. That shit heavy on the ropes. You have know what's bad when Mindy out. goes, I'm like, I'm showing Mindy what's going on. She's like, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You want some of this drink? That's about, about all the help I can she give you. Wrong with that, bro, it's, buddy. it's definitely, you know, I mean, once you play on it, though. It sounds so good. It's so smooth, dude. Once you play on that mixer, once you figure it out, you're just like, holy shit. I like, want to fuck with those just, damn, the independent, adjusting the fucking where you at. Let the oh, people know what you're talking about. And stuff like that. Oh, the, uh, the rain. Yeah. Um, he's, he's, dude. I bought the rain 2015, a uh, couple months <clears> after <throat> it came out. 
Um, when I seen it, <laughs> it's funny because when I seen it, I I knew right then and there, I knew that I was getting it. It's like if, if you yeah, you're talking it, about that big, like you talk about if, guys about seeing their wife. The cop, I just knew. Yeah. I just knew. I was well, I mean, it was, it was one of those things because <laughs> it's like if you if you're lucky enough to cop your first BMW. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not talking about drive one. I mean, driving it, you, you kind of get the feel of it. But when you spend that money and you get to drive it all the time, <coughs> that's what it feels like. Yeah, it's pretty that sweet. Mixer. Have you seen that that, uh, that cartoon? There's a, it was in DJ Tech Tools or somewhere. It was they have a whole row of um, of urinals, and this one guy, this guy's by himself, and all of a sudden, this other, it shows the next panel. So this guy's walking up to it, and he gets right beside him and goes, "Hey, I got a rotary mixer." <laughs> oh, I see that. I see that. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, like, that's some funny shit. That's good. Right. That's some funny shit. Yeah, but I mean, you still like got punched in the mouth. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the rule. <laughs> that's the rule. That is the rule. I you mean, look. if there's space for there to be an empty stall on either side of me, that's that's supposed. I don't give a fuck if you got a rotary mixer. That's the point of the guys love it. But but you know what? And I, and I thought that until I played on it. And just like you said, I played on it. I didn't. I mean, it should have me on the ropes just because of my own stupidity. But. Uh, it's fucking sweet, dude. It is. I mean, it's an intimidating mixer. I mean, you look at it because 95% of the people that DJ are used to playing on a Pioneer. Well, mm -hmm. it is interesting. You know, because, yes, it is interesting. <laughs> it definitely is, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's 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 a workhorse mixer. I mean, it, it'll it take a beating and keep going. But, God damn, that thing is so smooth. But it's so worth it. So but as far as the sound quality and just it being a rotary... And the sound that comes out of that thing is amazing. You know, two sound, it has two sound cards too, right? It has two sound cards, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, like I said, it's 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 to a lot of people it's an intimidating mixer, you know. Well I mean, that's why I came down early that day. Yeah. And I still got fucking on the ropes. But what if I didn't? You know what I mean? Yeah, like I yeah. wanted to come down early to sound check because I didn't I didn't know it at oh, all. And that's the thing, it's like, you know, when when because that is the soul kitchen standard, the rotary. Yeah. I mean, I will not bring in another mixer. At all. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, that's that's the mixer for If, if you can't play on this, you yeah. can't play. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like when I had the 2016, which is the rotary before, mm -hmm. you know, I had that thing for 10 plus years. Yeah. And selling it hurt, but <laughs> I knew it was the only way you I was going to get BMWs? the new mixer. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, BMW and a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. Yeah. But, I mean, that's how that was going to work out for me. Yeah. You know? But now that I have it, it's just like, you know, I look at it and I'm just like, holy shit, I actually own one. Like, yeah. Because when I seen the price tag on it, I was just yeah, like, it's definitely whoa. It's a sticker shock at that moment. You know, right? yeah. But, you know. Yeah, you, you need some loot when you go cut I, off I, the cash. Yeah. It's like, hey. It's but, you know, like I said, <laughs> selling the 2016 gave me what I needed to get the 2015. And, the, 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 know, name, the names are really confusing, by the way. They're not. Well, it's 2016 you know. when you bought it, and you bought a 2015. It's backwards, Because right? I, yeah, I, I, I went know. to look for the drivers. I was like, well, this is confusing as shit. I yeah. just need to get them all. Whatever they had. I got, I got them all because <laughs> yeah. it had me on the ropes for a couple minutes. You know, and luckily, when I sold the 2016, you know, I had posted it on Facebook, you know, saying, you know, I got yeah. rid of it, blah, 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 whatever. And I had got a text, you know, a couple days later, and it was a text that, you know, I was... Kind of waiting for, and it was Rob Alon. Hmm. And Rob Alon over at, you know, One Stop DJ Shop was like, I got your baby. Come get it. Damn. You know, so I went down there, you know. It's like a crack dealer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, you know. So definitely, you know, Rob Rob definitely hooked me up, you know. And, and I mean, he had it there, waiting. And Big ups to Rob yeah, for, definitely, for, for, for what know. he does. Um, I mean, it, it, does, it definitely personifies his moniker. Uh, by DJs for DJs. Oh yes, all the um, way. All the so way. I mean, it's not just you know a a um, a, a DJ shop in Vegas. Yeah, yeah he's, he's cool like that. He's, you know, I, I get it. It's Vegas. There's a million DJs. Yeah, of course there's a DJ shop there. No, it's 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 a one stop. Yeah. DJ shop by DJs for DJs, and the way that kind of manifests itself is in shit like this where. Like we, he you know, always bends over back. Out. He always bends over back. Oh, he he's definitely offered does. Me, he's oh, yeah. offered me some deals on stuff and that. Like, he's you know, straight, um, if, if, you know, uh, he's had calls from cats that you know their shit broke. You know, right before a gig, and you know, it was nine o'clock. You know, meet me at the shop or whatever the case may be. Like he, yeah. he, he, he takes care of that's people. That's straight up. Man. You know, um, he, he's a solid dude, and that's the thing about house music. And I'm not saying 
as opposed to any other genre. It's just my, I am. right. Yeah. You know, it's just my <laughs> thing. You know, um, ask a trans guy to do that. When, 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 it, when it comes to house Man music, trans? it's it's <laughs> it, it, it it's something that permeates from a personality. You know, people that are open enough to enjoy it's house a common, music it's happen a to be number. certain kinds of people. Yeah. You know, and uh, and, and, and he he personifies that. Yeah, and, definitely. You know, big ups to Rob. And I think that's you know. The scene as a whole here, you know, in Vegas, you know, there's a a lot of different people that help out each other, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. as far as equipment, gear, and whatnot, you know. And, <clears throat> and, I mean, I haven't had an issue with anybody, per se, you know, if, if I needed someone, you know, I'll call them and be like, hey, you know, I kind of ran into something, can you help me out? And, you know, right away, they're like, yeah, man, here it is, yeah. come get it, or... That, you know, yeah, yeah. anything you need like from me, man, which I don't have reins, but yeah. you know, no, that's right, just how yeah. I mean, as a whole, though, you know, <laughs> I, yeah. I've, you know, that it, it's, you know, it's a good camaraderie. And you feel like you can do it, too. Absolutely. You feel like yeah. you can, because I feel the same way when you hit me up about your idea about doing this show. Mm -hmm. And I, obviously, I built this for a one man deal. Yeah. And, you know, when he hit me up, I was like, yeah, let's do it. That sounds like a great idea. I fucking did. And, yeah. you know, because it, it's, it's, it's that. This scene's good about that. If you if you open yourself up to it, yeah, you feel like that you, you have no problem asking someone if it, I mean, hey, yeah. let's, let's do this, we'll yeah, do it. whatever that whatever the endeavor, absolutely, you know? yeah. And it's a good thing, you know. I mean, because that just you know, one hand helps the other, yeah. And it just but there's a lot of times that, I didn't you know? think Vegas was like that. I was like, well, fuck, well, fuck. Yeah. And I still go through times like that. I'm like, well, fuck, right. Mm -hmm. and, but then you just that's a lot of times me just being in that state where my my the the feminine. Portion of my life comes to say, "Hey, Damn you, bitch." No, I'm saying my, I'm saying my loved ones. I say, like, "Hey, listen, no, no, you need to, you need to be more open to, to asking for help or, mm -hmm. or, or X, Y, Z. Yeah, you know, yeah, and that's definitely. and that's uh, you know, we're, we're men, we're hard headed, some yeah, more than others, for the most part, because <laughs> we're always right, ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for a minute. Even when I'm lost, I'm not lost. <laughs> Damn it. I, I'm called that geographically embarrassed. Oh, Speaking yeah. of that, Mona, what's up, girl? Oh God, he did it! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Yana. <laughs> you know, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. But but seriously though, hey Mona, <laughs> I haven't seen it in a while. I, mean, like, I, I can say hi too. Shit. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm still be in the cover art. He has a problem with that. But anyway, yada yada yada. <laughs> Who's playing the next party exactly? Who's playing your next one? Um, this month, Soul Kitchen, I have uh, David Serrano. Oh, that's right. You just said and F3R. And F3R, yeah, and F3R Fernando Alva. Yeah. yeah so I, I, uh, I love those guys, dude. They, they, make me, they make me smile. Yeah. And then on Saturday, the 18th, I have uh, Eddie B, uh, Hot Music from L.A. All right. Yeah. I mean, Eddie's, Eddie's played for me. You know, he comes out every year for a President's Day weekend. That's mm -hmm. random. That's, and, that's uh, random. He, that's you know, he's... <laughs> He, you know, he, he comes out here for something that he does, you know, personally. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, for the last few years, you know, I've, I've you know, either he's played with me or, you know, he's played with Carlos down at DCR. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. You know, a couple places. I love so, when you're out of town, you call up, get a gig and stuff. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like that. I again, and that's like the camaraderie, you know, like say, hey, you know, because <clears> I, get, I get hit up quite a bit. Of, you know, people coming to town or asking, hey, what's going on in this and that. Yeah. So, I've asked three you know, times in this show. Yeah. I mean, and, I, uh, I, I, <laughs> and the thing about it is that it, it's, it's almost reminiscent of like pre internet, you know, when you knew someone that knew someone that had a cousin that yeah. was coming in from out yeah. of town. Um, uh, I, I, I'll be gone by then. He needs a couch <clears> to, to, you know, maybe a place to, to, to play or something like that. And I've done that a gazillion times. And it doesn't really get old. Technically, you're kind of taking a chance. You got a strange up in your crib and all that. At least now with the internet, you can kind of stalk them a little bit and see what kind of person Dude, they are. I do right? it all the time too. Uh, you know, Jeff Service was here. You know, which we should have got him on that one too. I, I need to talk, start calling you more. Yeah. Freaking, uh, when uh, when T was up here, mm -hmm. you know, and it's it, it's it's a good thing, and that's it, that's where that my office has a fucking futon in it. So right. when they come in, you know, they can. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be uncomfortable. But you can sleep here, yeah. and we'll play, and and it gets reciprocated. I'm going yeah. to Chicago this year a couple times to play with T. Nice, and I'm excited about that. Cause I've never played Chicago, and it's just one of those. It's like going to Mecca. Yeah, you know yeah. Chicago's I mean? an amazing it's place. It's like uh, she's got a little night there. At the, at, I forget one of the, one of the famous spots, and then that facilitates. Uh, Milty Evans want me to play. Mm. You know what I mean? And, yeah, it's, yeah. and it's a it's 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 a good thing, man. Yeah. I think that makes us. I love that about house music. Yeah, you know, definitely. It's, uh, 
it's just one of those fucking things. And, that, and and again, I can't really say that other genres don't do that. I'm not in those genres. I just right. don't care about the genres. All, 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 all I know <laughs> is that that's what makes how that's what makes house music feel like home to me. Yeah. The, yeah, definitely. I, I, I call it a big. I think the house music is like the biggest, the perfect blanket. You know, you get a blanket. Sometimes it's too in the cold. It's too small. When you when you read the woman <laughs> and she got too much, or you got, it's never enough. You, you, you're trying to make it work. House music is like the perfect blanket. That's a perfect warm size, and it just fits everybody, man. It's it's, <laughs> it's perfect. House music is a heated jacket. Right? <laughs> it's, called, it's called jacket house, motherfucker. You ever heard jacket, jacket house? house? <laughs> you ever heard jacket house? <laughs> Fucking blanket. I ain't worried about sharing it. Ask Mindy about Jacket House. Ask Mindy about Jacket House. Tell them about Jacket House, Mindy. <laughs> she knows all about it. Right? What time oh, is it? It's almost time to shut it down, but it's like we can't really do it with only having one shot during the show. Dude, so. this guy. Right. I've turned this guy out. <laughs> I turned him. I do the funniest thing ever was when him and I did. Uh, he takes two. Who was that? I said, "Who is this guy?" Rob. Uh, <laughs> Rob Bates. No, it was some DJ. I said, <laughs> no, he said somebody else. No, you. So. It was somebody that was playing Tacos. I said, "Who is that?" And I said, "I thought it was Rob Bates." And at the same time, we were going, "You take two to make a thing go right." <laughs> <laughs> and then we laughed about it. That was in the whole premise, all show. <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty Thanks much. for coming up, oh, man. No, thank Absolutely. you guys for having Thomas. me. You know. I mean, I just want to say, you know, big ups to all the crews out there doing stuff. Mm -hmm. The venues that are holding spots down, you know. Uh, you know, big ups to Tom. Tom's vast over at Sahara Lounge. Oh, yeah. You know, you're doing a beautiful thing, brother. For real. Awesome. I you mean, know. He, 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 oh, matter of fact, um, I want to say this Saturday is two-year anniversary. Um, or an anniversary or whatever the hell. Uh, I forget who's coming out. Oh, they have Max Graham. Max Graham. For, uh, uh, I think it's the third year, three year anniversary. Thing. Three year anniversary, yeah. and also so. Saturday, uh, I want to say three to six. You got uh, my boys, uh, Vinyl Monkeys, oh, coming yeah. out. Uh, are you going over there? I'm playing on it. Yeah, <laughs> I just forgot about that, but yeah, I'm are you, sorry. Are you playing? Ryan. <laughs> oh, so I don't get to play. So I'm just gonna eat ribs. Yeah, this Saturday, <laughs> starting at three p.m. over at uh, the Geisha Studios over off of Eastern. I'm excited um, about that, man. Uh, I'm playing the Vinyl Monkeys Las Vegas edition. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's myself with uh, Ikeka, David Serrano, and Casey Beats. Mm. And oh, that I starts see, at 3 p.m. It's, it's a Mexican Hawaiian thing. Casey, thing. Casey, uh, yeah. It's a Mexican Hawaiian thing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Something like that. Hey, you know, yeah. those cats can't be tell. Hey, listen, those, listen just, just so you know, listen, those cats, Big Ray, man, I I love those guys. Those are those are soul Summit family. They made me, Katie, and Francesca feel so fucking uh, welcome. We cooked a great meal for us, and we had a blast. We were still coming down from the Dark Martin fucking Marcus White and Dub Tribe party, so it could have been really shitty. I don't know. We felt great either way. Just <laughs> I, 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 it was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, Indeed. Big up to Vinyl Monkeys. <laughs> Love and, you guys, uh, man. Love you yeah. guys. And, and I'll definitely try to slide through if I can. Oh, I'm but coming. There's ribs. Chances are I probably yeah. won't be able to. I'll, I'll be hey, here. listen. There's more ribs for me, man. Yeah. I mean, the cool thing is they're making it a family. It's not like I'm opposed to a plate now. <laughs> Don't right. no, don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you know. If you ain't there, you ain't there. They ain't nobody bites me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I'll be taking my life. They gave right? me some uh, some some Mexican gum. I was like, I thought I got diabetes. Oh yeah, I was like, Mexican. Something like Mexican candy. I was like, hey, come try this. I'm like, I, I thought I had to cut my foot off. That's it, pure sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's pure sugar and lead. <laughs> you get like three chews and pull out the machete. I'm not gonna need this anymore. Right? Why not? What <laughs> for? <laughs> Dude, it, you're always welcome over here, brother, man. I'm, yes, trying, I'm trying to get you over here, man. Let's just fuck around and, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, try, I'm, I'm down, trying to get man, some music you know. out of your ass. I'm trying to get music yeah. out of everybody, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now, you know, because I, I took a different schedule at work. So, you know, I go in at 4 a.m. I'm off at noon. So that's kind of limited me as far as going out on yeah. certain nights and whatnot. But, I mean, now being off at noon, I can actually do come out shit. and do stuff. And where I'm actually jumping back in the studio with All Royce. Right. All right. You know, oh, that's the uh, that's the man. Right yeah, there. you know, I mean, that's the great, that's the best musician yeah. in town. Period. And that's and that's one of the things that you know I was wanting to do this year was starting to get back in the studio, because I kind of left the studio behind for a couple of years. You know, I did some stuff with DDR in the past. You know, did some other stuff with Royce, and I mean, you know, well, good would, pieces uh, of work. I would love to get. I would love to you see know? what you guys come up with. I love, to, especially as the Royce is on the label, and I have the utmost respect for him. He's by hands down the best musician. In town, and I'm not even just talking about that fucking freestyle track. Yeah, I know you don't like talking about it, <laughs> but I would love to get something from you too, man. Because because once again, I had this, I had the it's this family, this Vegas thing, and I was, right. I like as many cats that can get down. I I like to do my part, and that's put them out. 
yeah. on the label and, 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 and do, say, hey, this is fucking Vegas, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, fucking period. Yeah. But that, I, I digress. Right. Peace. He, he, he is digressionary. <laughs> digressionary is not but, a word. Hey, you making up words? I, I make up words too. Shit, I'm black. That's what we do. Guys. He said, I'm black. Wait a you minute. Know? Wait a wait a wait a back up. God damn right, I'm racist. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Other thank, side of Vegas, baby. For real. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks Much love, again, guys. Thank and, you. No, thank you guys for having me. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, yeah, and yes, until next time, goddammit. Yes, sir. <laughs>